The shocking truth you must know before you buy anything, anything during your divorce. Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time, I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. We have so many videos and so much free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Today I'd like to share with you the shocking truth of why you must stop before you go to buy anything. And let me share some examples with you. For instance, I had a client who wanted to buy a brand new Honda Odyssey. I said, why? It would become joint property. That means that both of you have to put it on the balance sheet and you both have to share it. It might be 50-50, it might be worse than that. He needed to buy the car, so he purchased the car and sure enough, he had to share it with his partner, his ex-partner. Now, I cannot tell you how upsetting that was for him. Another example of why you must not buy anything during your divorce. Another client of mine, she had two little ones and she was living back at home and she desperately wanted to get out and buy a unit, buy her own apartment. And I said to her, but if you do that, it's going to be shared property. It's going to be something that you have to share with your ex. Do you want to share this purchase with your ex-partner? That is the number one question you must ask yourself. She didn't and she's renting until she settles and that's really the best solution. There's another one, I had a client and he had four children and he paid everything with cash. So the learning here, number two, about don't buy anything is that everything is traceable. You need to have a think about all your credit card statements, your bank statements, receipts, all of that. All of those types of documents can be brought into your settlement, they can be brought into court. So have a think about whether you can pay with cash, whether you need to pay with cash, whether you want it to be traced. That is the key question. The third tip I want to share with you today is about gifts and inheritances. It's really important that if you are going to come into any inheritance, for instance grandparents or anything like that, is that during a divorce proceeding, during your settlement, all of that becomes shared property. It's very difficult to talk out of that one. So it's so much better if gifts and inheritances can be left until after you've settled, after you've come through the other side, get through your divorce, have it all signed off, and then you can buy the new car, you can buy the new house, you can start afresh, you can start the new chapter in your life. Thank you for liking today. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for listening. And it's great talking with you again. And I'll see you on the next video. Lisa Dixon from Divorce TV. Bye for now.